I'm going to read you the bedtime story tonight and it's called Oh Dear Geoffrey by Gemma O'Neill. Meet Geoffrey the young giraffe. He's very, very tall with a very, very long neck and sometimes he's very, very clumsy. Meet some more of Geoffrey. His legs are wibbly wobbly and his knees are bendy buckly so he often tangles, trips, skips and flips. Oh dear Geoffrey. Geoffrey bends down as low as he can go to say hello to the meerkats. Well he slips and slides and they all disappear like a flash. Geoffrey won't give up. He tries to say hello to the elephants. But he stumbles, bumbles and bumps. Soon trunks are tangled and tails are tucked. Oh dear Geoffrey. Down at the watering hole, Geoffrey tries to make friends, but it's very, very muddy. He splishes and splashes, and then splash. Oh dear Geoffrey. Geoffrey is cold and wet and muddy. He's fed up of being so tall and clumsy. So he starts, sets off towards his favourite tree, the tallest of them all, full of tasty leaves to cheer him up. up there. On the way, Geoffrey hears a little voice and feels something tickly. He looks down to see lots of cheeky monkeys climbing up his leg. You are so tall. Please will you help us little ones get to the top of the tree? They chatter. Geoffrey lets them all climb up his long neck. Thank you Geoffrey, said the monkeys. Let's be friends. We would love to have a friend as tall as you. So would we. Geoffrey looks around and notices some little birds, right under his nose. Nobody else can reach up here where we live. We'd love to be your friends. Tweet the birds. Soon Geoffrey has more friends than he can count. It's easy to make friends up here, smiles Geoffrey, and I can stretch as high as I like. You're just like us, Twitter the birds. You can reach as high as the sky. And as far as the stars. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I look forward to reading you another one soon.